Hey everyone, welcome back. Or for those of you who are new, welcome. Hope you enjoyed today's topic, all the same. But, unfortunately, today we live in a time where we're anticipating a Gladiator sequel called Gladiator 2. Sir Ridley Scott, director of the original, is coming back. If you do not think this is an abysmal idea, then we're just not going to agree. My opinion is very much strong and unwavering. And yeah, move forward with caution, at least for today. For the longest time, Ridley Scott had ideas of Gladiator and how Maximus, we could actually continue with that character in the afterlife. Um, but even that I never thought was something we had to do because yeah, Gladiator was, I was four years old when that film came out. It's very much part of my childhood, but I'm not here to try and defend that. If it warrants a sequel or if the story can move forward, you know, I think Terminator, I think Blade Runner, at least in Blade Runner's case, you had a complete different kind of director, a different kind of visionary. And I just can't imagine this, this, this is anything new or well thought out. I don't, and really Scott in general has really been just rubbing uh, me the wrong way. He's a legendary filmmaker, Apple commercial, Alien, obviously Gladiator. Yeah, Blade Runner. I've, but when was that? To, in my opinion, Gladiator was the last great film he actually made. And the way he talks at his ripe old age, I think he's past 85, it just comes off like he's trying to stay relevant, but in a very arrogant way. Fuck you, thank you very much, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Go so and he doesn't back it up. The most important thing is he doesn't back up his word with what he puts out there. What he's always been good at is he could tackle stories from various different time periods. The productions are, are usually quite spectacular. And there is usually a quite interesting story centered in it. Martian was all right. That had some really stupid stuff. Donald Glover, when he's explaining gravity to the panel of people working on NASA, more so explaining it for the audience, but with a stapler and I don't know, I don't care that much. Uh, when I look at this guy's entire career, I see on and off, it's unpredictable, and he just speaks like he's the shit. You know, it makes me laugh when you have so many people stand in front of him and, you know, to defend him. That, oh, he's untouchable, it's Sir Ridley Scott, you know, you can't say anything bad. Bull. We're gonna get into some specific articles. What really kicked it off for me today was on screen rant, Ridley Scott already has ideas for Gladiator 3, compares potential sequel to The Godfather. Yeah, so this is another thing he's really great at is hyping up himself. I'm already toying with the idea of Gladiator 3. No, seriously, I've lit the fuse. The ending of Gladiator, Gladiator 2 is reminiscent of The Godfather, with Michael Corleone finding himself with a job he didn't want and wondering. Now, father, what do I do? <clears throat> okay, so obviously that can make sense. Uh, again, you're just spoiling your movie when the trailer, that shitty trailer, already gave away the beats of that film. You pretty much know, okay, he's in, you have uh, the character Lucius, right? He's um, grown up. There's a reason for him to return to Rome as a gladiator. Denzel Washington completely out of place stepping in for the Oliver Reed Proximo role. Yeah, he has to reunite with his mother, but then there's his sworn enemy, which seems to be Pedro Pascal, this Roman general, and they're gonna go head to head. And in, bet in between that, he's gonna rise as a gladiator. You know, instead of lying, he's gonna fight a rhino. He's just confident that, yeah, and yeah, buzzwords, the Godfather, Michael Corleone, yeah, okay. Um, pff, that's a fetch, man. It just irritates me because it's so, like him to just come off so arrogant, self so self-conceited. And again, I don't think these days he has anything to say beyond spectacle and production, but like, who cares, man? Like you're just out of ideas. And, and I really, I'm, I'm of the belief that you could really tarnish your legacy by overstaying your welcome, whatever you are, 
a director, any other kind of artist, you know, t tennis player, doesn't matter. I know he doesn't give a shit. It's just the way he talks. It rubs me the wrong way. There's another, this was from a few months ago, that the Gladiator sequel is the best thing I've ever made. One of the best things I've made. I've made a few good ones. It's like, oh, yeah, we know. There's, I could bet you on everything. I will shut this down. This, this, I'll shut that channel down if Gladiator 2 is objectively found the best thing he's ever made. Uh, there's just no way. There's no way. There's nothing original about it. It doesn't seem like it's warranted. It's as warranted as a Titanic sequel. It just doesn't make sense. What do you guys think? Are you just going to be that audience member who says, well, this looks fun. I could have fun with it. Are you as offended as me? Do you think I should be offended? Does this offense seem warranted? And if you think no, then you're wrong. Uh, but good for him, you know, he, he has the confidence of, of anybody put together. It's, it's unbelievable. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Will you be watching this in theaters? Do you care? Are you as pissed off as I am? It's, it's distasteful, in my opinion, to talk like that and then to put out this stuff. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. And if you like what we do here and you want to support us, you know where the subscribe button is. You could hit it down below, ring the bell. We much appreciate it and look forward to some new stuff in the future. Thanks.